So today we are going to make some zucchini burgers. And since I didn't want to make the house all hot, I thought I would fire up this old oven out here. Once she's going really good, we're going to push the coals back inside and add some more wood for the next couple hours. And I'm going to have to go in and get the zucchini burgers ready. Well, you made a good fire, son. Do you remember building this thing? Yeah. First we had to get all the rocks from all the rock piles that are everywhere. The, there was a lot of rock. Concrete or something to put them together. Yeah. Put them all together. And then, uh, do you remember what we put in for insulation underneath the fire brick? Perlite. Perlite. That's right. You do remember. Perlite Big bag of bottles. It. We put bottles in there. I don't remember. I'm pretty sure we put bottles. We either were, did or we're going to. And then we had to lay the fire bricks. Oof. This is the fastest way we've found to separate the sand from the gravel. There was a lot of cob. Do you remember stomping the cob? In the mud. Sticky, gooey cob. Okay, this is us mixing the clay sand mix for the inner layer. What I like to do is uh, take a uh, drill with an auger bit and uh, in a bucket and mix the clay and make it wet. Then add sand, and uh, it seems to be easier to mix. And I like to make it starting off a little wet, and then letting the sand dry it out. They 
got a little picture of what the Israelites were doing in Egypt. Yeah. They mixed, uh, we mixed straw in with it. Well, first we did the inside one. And that was just mostly clay. Do you remember what we did for the shape yes, of the oven? I mean, two main ways it's done. You can do uh, a, like a, a wood, like a thin wood strip frame. Or, uh, the way we did it, we, we used sand. We formed sand and then put newspaper. Do you remember how much sand that took? That was it's, from Grandpa's, wasn't it? We dug it from the tree sites and then, or something. Well, yeah, yeah there's it's quite a chunk in there. And then we put, uh, we made the inside cob, which... It was just clean sand. Yeah, it was just clean sand. And you see how she's using one hand to uh, keep it in, and the other hand to integrate the little blob she put there. And then we made the outside cob, which was clay and sand, and straw. supposed to punch this in, but uh, I found that this rubber mallet seems to work just as good if I don't have to get bloody knuckles out of the ordeal. We never did get to liming it. No, I have the lime somewhere. And then we had to uh, open up the doorway, didn't we? This here was closed, wasn't it? You know what? I don't remember. I think this before. I think we didn't close it. I think we formed it. Anyways, one thing I would do differently is make it to make the door first and then make it to fit the door. Yeah, because we, we made the door we after and it. door to the shape and it was so difficult. We never did get a door that properly fit. This door only somewhat fits. You know, pretty much light it on fire almost. It barely fits the outline of it. And we, the way we made that is we, one of us went inside of there and. Uh, Which one of you? I think it was me, although I think Ethan was in there. <laughs> you both fit inside there, you guys are so small. Yeah, so then we went inside and then you closed the door and then we traced out with a pencil over there around the inside of it. It took several tries to get it right. And we used to have a piece of screen that would go over it as well, but that melted. It gets super hot, like 700 degrees. Whew! <laughs> and, um, so things I do differently, <coughs> chimney, I probably put a chimney on so that we don't have to get smoked out standing in front. I would do the door first, make the door and then make it to, oh, the shape to fit the door. But I mean, other than that, I think it's pretty good. I think the size turned out good, the dome shape and everything was pretty good. I should put a link if I can find. There was a lady that uh, we pretty much followed a lot of what she did, do you remember? And uh, I'll try to find the link for her videos if I can oh, put it in tested, the description. We tested our soil to see how much clay was in it too. Oh yeah, that's right. We uh, took the soil and put it in a jar and shook it up and let it settle and then you can see how much of it is clay and silt and sand. Yeah, I remember doing that. Thank you.
Then, then I remember the first fires. First we started just putting candles in there. We put a bunch of candles for it. And then we made a really small fire, I think, and then bigger fires. Yeah, you gotta slowly dry it out so it doesn't crack too much. We did get some cracks. You'll see it later as uh, when it self cleans. But uh, so far the cracks have been fine. Yeah, if so we had limed it, you know, slowly the entranceway is kind of burning away a little bit. But the great thing is with cob is you just can add more. But we really should lime it. So because we didn't lime it, and it would have just washed away, we, uh, my hubby built this nice roof over top. And that does the trick. Why is it like burning to that side there? Maybe that's because that's the side we made the fire on. It's hotter. Just something about watching a fire. This is how the pioneers would have done it though. In the summertime, they were not using their wood cook stoves in the house. A lot of them had outdoor ovens. So we've definitely hit self-clean heat. Gavin made a good fire. Whew! It is hard to stand in front of this fire. I think that's definitely going to be adequate. Makes me think of the fiery furnace. Oh, yeah. So, I'm going to stand back here. Sure, if that's as thick as you like. Yeah, I think it'll do. They smell so good, I'm hungry already. I know. And I was gonna give Ethan trouble for the thought of like eating them just like straight out of the thing, but really, there's nothing in here that you <laughs> that you couldn't really, because <laughs> it's it's not flour, it's uh, oatmeal. And uh, breadcrumbs, which are already cooked. And zucchini and onion and stuff. Eva, I tell you, she could smell the smells. Mm. She was standing there, <laughs> whining. Eva very much likes burgers. Yeah, she likes to eat them before they're cooked. Yep. Yeah. You can't turn your back on her. It smells and tastes so good, and it's something good to use zucchini in. Yep. So we had three zucchinis at the greenhouse already, big ones, and this was only two of them, I think. As you can see there's a few cracks in there and it's self-cleaned it's all nice and light again sorry about that oh okay hot on the sides usually i have a handle but i wasn't prepared for this today Gotta get to the back somehow. No, just make room for what you gotta cook. The back has got large coals in it to keep it warm. And I'm gonna rinse and repeat. Okay. 
throw them out, yeah. Get it away. I think that should be pretty good. Yep. Okay, you want to put the door back on? Alright, let's see how this goes. Did I mention I've never made burgers in here? Other things, but not burgers. I'm thinking I should have put some cornmeal down just to get them so it didn't stick so much, but... That one might have burned. I'm not sure. Those ones are quite dark. I think I'm gonna have to take. It's pretty hot to the back. Just threw some hash browns in there at the back, and I'm going to close her back up. While the other burgers are cooking, we formed some more burgers to go in and made some yummy vegan mayonnaise. I'll put a link to the recipe. Smells coming out of here are delicious. I think I'm just gonna lay that down. Okay. We are gonna melt our cheese. And I should probably flip those hash browns while I got it open. They're looking good. Yeah. Don't shove into the ash. Not that the ash is going to kill us, but it's not so yummy. Oh, I need a break. <laughs> the heat is intense. And I gotta come and go at it. Take the hairs right off your arm. That's how it feels anyway. These ones I think need to go a little closer to the back. I just didn't have an easy time getting them in there at first. Well, that one's pretty good there. Might move it a little bit further back though. Alright, we're gonna close it up. It's almost done. Okay. 
Add some volunteer lettuce in the sand. So I think I'm just going to show you, just take the whole thing. Not a lot there, but something. starting to hold. That's the problem around here. We don't get a lot of time between... No, it's got bugs. <laughs> Alright, let's pick some lily. When your lettuce has bolted, you can always count on the daylily. Just as long as you make sure it's a daylily. Yeah, you don't want to eat Easter lilies. There's a saying for that, and I can't remember it. But. It has something to do with you better believe in the resurrection because exactly. you'll be needing it. Exactly. But these, thankfully, are daylilies, and we have got a bunch coming. No, well, they're all over the place. Yeah. We have more over there. Yeah, I'm going to go in the garden and pick some more over there since we don't have a lot of lettuce. Thankfully, when the patch near the house doesn't have enough, there's plenty over here. Oh dear. I can let it stick a little bit longer. All right. I need a bigger tray. See the bottom? Looks good. Well, I would say for a first time, it was a pretty good success. Might try a different style of burger next time. Got a little more fat in it to be a little more fry on the grill style, but. Nonetheless, this worked. Saved us having an indoor fire and getting all hot. I have to make room for you. And I'm just going to have to come back for these. Oh, they're still good. Yeah, come right back for those. I need to get a longer spatula. Great way to get an instant pan. Oh, these look so good. Everything just smells so good. And you know what? The timing was perfect. It was kind of where I thought it was going to be. I think we started the fire, what, around 9.30? Expecting to eat around 2. And it is just around 2. And we even had some slight interruptions in between, so it's all good. All right, I'm going to close that up. Just before the storm. Well, we made it just in time. Nothing like a good storm, though. The bun doesn't do it justice, but I did not have time to make buns. Well, you've had them out of the oven. Definitely better out of the outdoor oven. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Oh, nice. I wish there were some pickles. Is there a pickle in there? I'll have to look for some pickles. Some more pickles would be nice. But it's good out of it. It's crunchy and uh, not soggy on the inside. Can I take a look inside? Sure. Looks pretty good. I'm hungry. I'm going to put this down. Until next time, have a blessed day.